I sought at all times to be close to Terry yeah. and to hear his heart. Mm -hmm. And the way I found I could do that best was as mm -hmm. often as possible to be in a prayer context with him. Yeah. Yeah. And I would deliberately yeah, try to get into as many opportunities where he was praying as I could. Yeah. Maybe one to one, and we had the privilege yeah. of doing that on occasion, often in a leadership setting. Mm -hmm. Um, because I felt not only could my faith be encouraged and I personally could be built yeah. up and, you know, keep my spiritual plumb line yeah. upright, yeah, as right. it were, but also I could hear how he was praying mm. and knowing how, from experience, his prayers tended to be answered. Mm. I could sometimes get ahead of the game yeah. so that when he says, I really feel God is saying we do this, I'd already done some preparation yeah. work towards yeah. it. A yeah. classic would be, I remember once in Brighton, we were Superb. praying, um, it was at a time when one of the political parties was meeting at the Brighton Conference okay. Centre. Oh yes, and I Terry prayed. That, yeah. Terry prayed, Lord, one day give us the opportunity to hold a leadership conference in that centre. Okay. At that stage, we were very small. Mm. But I went out of that room and I phoned the Brighton Centre and I said, can I come and look round? Yeah. And out of that, within probably six months right. we had an approach from john wimber he wanted to run a conference sent someone over and i felt very smug yeah. because i could say oh i know all about the conference yeah. center done the prep work, <laughs> right, done yeah. the prep work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but that was because i heard terry praying and i thought okay i believe one day that'll come yeah. about let's find out what it is like in there i love that um so yeah. I, I i i've often said this to administrators don't just feel you're the do-it person. You're not a technician. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You need to know the heart of the person yeah. you're serving yeah. so that you can reflect and complement that heart. Yeah. Yeah. And if possible, help shape the decision-making by yes. bringing your gifting to the table yes. at the time the decisions are being made. Mm -hmm. Because it's very easy for uh, church leaders, sometimes their elders, to get into a little bit of an ivory tower mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. decide to do something that for practical reasons might have limitations. So if you can feed in some of the practice, not yeah. to say no, yes. I'm a yeah. great believer in saying the answer is yes, the question is how, yeah. Um, yeah. But, uh, but say, look, if you're going to go that route, which I fully applaud, mm -hmm. I think the time scale you've got it on is probably a bit tight for this reason, this reason, this reason, this reason, yeah. like permissions or whatever it may yeah. be. I would suggest we plan for next summer, not this summer. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah. So you're yeah. bringing your gifting to the table yes. at the time the decision's being made. So yeah. you're not saying, bad decision you're saying i can fill in yes that decision yeah. in and, a helpful way